Madigan. Over 40 awards already. Okay. We watching a rewarded cinema. Okay. Uh, you know, you know, it, it, it's already successful. <laughs> so what you're about to see is about to blow your mind. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. God's Chaser, the documentary, his official trailer. Let's watch it, boys. When it comes to the Christian rap industry and God Chasers, I think some people won't be appreciated until they're gone. I'm gonna give you the buck. I thought facts. it was gonna fail. I 100% thought it was gonna fail. That's facts, bro. That's facts. You got so many artists, bro. And even if you look at painters or anything like that, bro. Why does it seem like, and I, I this is just a sidebar, um, but why does it seem like if someone is super talented, they're not recognized for their talent until their following is big, right? It's like uh, people want stages and stadiums and they they see people confess Jesus, but did they really like receive Jesus? Did anybody really get alongside them and disciple them and continue to feed them? Is it about numbers or is it about impact? That's, that's kind of what I'm getting at. All right, that was just a sidebar, but man, I could tell this is some inspirational type. This is, I'm gonna have to watch this documentary. Percent thought it was gonna fail. Their delivery was street, it was gritty, but it was very Christ centered and it just had a power to it. Okay. Wait a minute, the hand of God. Change the generation. Yo, they never. Let me just say, bro, whoever did this music, fire, fire. I don't know if you had that produced or or what happened, bro, but I love the music behind this. It fits the mood right. I'm a videographer, so, bro. A change, they never good. flipped, they never turned around and tap dance. The industry moved this way, they didn't move, they were solid as a rock. It's Jesus yeah. or nothing, plain and simple. It's not about we selling records, it's not about if our name is here. Rinsing Heart is that people would know Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal no Savior. God changed was like, all right, if you ain't about souls, don't rap no more. Ah! He said, if you ain't about souls, don't rap no more. He said it. This is facts, bro. I gotta watch this. I'm watching it. I might watch it after the stream, honestly. It don't matter if you in the trenches, you coming out the trap, you still trapping. It was like, listen, we gonna let you know the gospel. Oh, man. Whether it was him, whether it was oatmeal, whether it was C Street, the muscle behind making sure people were saved and were brought to Jesus was just unbelievable. If I could summarize God Chaser's ministry in one sentence, I'd say this. They are a ministry that is willing to do whatever it takes to tell people about Jesus. It's been a consistent label, and I just feel like they've definitely earned their- Dang, bro. I never even heard about God's Chasers. Am I out the loop? Have y'all heard of God's Chasers yet? I'm going to have to look this thing up. There's space in the Christian hip-hop Hall of Fame. They speak the word of God and it changes life. Amen. I'm not against people do positive rap. It's cool, it ain't changing nobody's life. You feel good for two minutes and you get right back in the mud that you're in. But when you have the power of God, it pulls you out. It washes you clean. Come on. Look, I've been saying this to people, bro. I'm out the loop. <laughs> All right, man, I'm gonna get in the loop, bro. Hey, I just want to say this because he's saying it. He said it washes you. He's talking about the power of the word of God. What people don't realize is even as a preacher, even as a person, you do not need to spice up and try to deliver the word in an extravagant way for it to have power. It, it has power regardless, bro. It's the word of God. It, it will stand the test of time eternally. The word of God. 
we don't have to spice it up. We just have to share it. And if people are sharing that through rap, then it has power. And I always, I always think about, you know, there's so many people that criticize the rap people that do rap and they say, man, they're doing that, but they're wearing chains. They're wearing grills. They're doing this. They're doing that. And yeah, I understand some of that can look like the world or whatever you want to say. But what I, I always go back to Paul when he said, at least Jesus Christ is being preached. At least Jesus Christ is being preached. Whether they did it in bad intent or good intent, at least Jesus Christ was being preached. And I feel like that's the attitude that we have to have. And it changes your direction. Honestly. And that's what God changes the music does. Oh, man. Fire, boy. And that's what God Chasers does, dog. And by the way, Brinson and God Chasers are one of the ones who do it the best. Jesus Christ. I ain't nothing wrong with that. He said, we do it the best, dog. We do it in excellence. Hey, man, this is fire, man. Hey, um, yo, uh, God Chasers, if, the, if there's a way that you can send us a link to the documentary or how we can get the documentary. I want to personally see that for sure, bro. Cause I feel like, I mean, that was one of the reasons th that's one of the reasons why I started doing reactions period was because bro, I see so many people that are anointed and they're flushed out because people uh, are kind of suffocating. They're, they're saying, man, I, 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 he doesn't do this. He doesn't do that. Whatever. You know what I mean? Anyway, but I was like, bro, this is, this is the gospel in rhythm. This is the gospel in rhyme. Why wouldn't I promote that? Not saying that rap music would be the only music that I do. Because you already know I'm going to be doing worship. What up, B? What up, B? B just showed up. All right. Um, but. Bro, I need the link to the documentary. 